okay uh, welcome back on my second lecture of uh, DCN com computer <coughs> networking session today we'll discuss about a, a very important session that we called ISO model uh, this is my first lecture but I just I was told you that and last lecture that is I'm taking a second lecture as first because you know about you don't know about anything so that that's why I'm taking this lecture as a second lecture today so we'll today discuss about what does mean by uh, OSI model so uh, as a please don't leave the class no one can leave this class okay so we'll start now uh, Today's session is IOC model. Uh, if anyone heard about that, then please reply me back. Uh, is anyone have any kind of idea? Aniket, your idea about OSI model? Priya, Devansh. Just please type yes or no. If yes, then it's okay for me. If no, then you will get and you will definitely will get an information about that. Okay, Devans, thank you for your response. Okay, we'll start now. First of all, OSI model is what and why we use it. It is very basic model. We'll discuss about in detail. Firstly, the what is that OSI model? OSI model means what? Uh, open system interconnection basic reference model note it down open system interconnection basic reference model uh, that we uh, refer as a OSI model open system interconnection basic reference model is an as abstract description for layer communication and the computer network protocol design it was developed as a part of open system interconnection OSI it is a most basic form. It divides network architectures into seven layers from top to bottom where application, presentation, session, transport, uh, network, data link and physical layer. Uh, therefore, it is called uh, OSI seven layer model also we can call it. Okay. Basically, uh, this model was uh, developed by open system interconnection. That's why it is called OSI model. Uh, it deals with the communication between two systems or two computers okay that uh, means what how the data pass from uh, one system to other system this deals with that only so we'll discuss in detail that how the two computer will communicate with each other okay so so it is very important to know that uh, how the uh, uh, what is mean by application layer what is mean by presentation layer what is mean by transport layer what is mean by network layer a data link layer and physical layer okay so uh, you have to remember this uh, sequentially uh, just like this only the first thing is what application then presentation here uh, since this is your computer okay first this first session is uh, this tell you uh, this is your physical layer this is your com uh, this this is your uh, that we call your system it has seven layer like application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. So first of all, uh, you having an application that deals with some data and uh, some application or uh, interfaces there. Uh, that will be rep represented and what what happens in this session and then present data transfer from application to presentation, presentation to session, then session to transport, transport to network, then data link, and then physical. Then it transform in the form of physical to the other computer of physical network then physical network to data link then network then it will transfer from top to bottom okay like here if your data is transferred from your computer then it transfer from bottom to top to physical layer okay then next is transferred through the physical cabling or whatever you have a network then it will transfer to that physical uh, destination physical layer then it transfer to the upper layer like the data link layer then network layer then transport then session then presentation then application so you get and understand that how the data is communicated from your system if you are running like uh, i am opening uh, here uh, <coughs> with the help of uh, chrome uh, i am talking with you that is my application i am talking with you my voice is 
uh, going from presentation, then session, then transport, then network, data, then physical layerly, it will transfer to your system. That your system will have physical physical connection is that, then it will transfer to data link, then network, then transport, then session, then presentation. Then you uh, you can view my my session or my lecture on your Chrome or your whatever you having a browser in that you will look in that. Okay, so uh, this we call in a such a way that you have to remember this sequentially uh, uh, in examination you have to be re uh, rewrite or write in sequential format uh, if you uh, all of you know about marathi something something just i will know uh, give a technique trick to remember this session means what uh, whatever the layers hello i'm having a one trick for this uh, to know sarang Sangram, please mute. Otherwise, I want to mute it. Okay, Sangram muted. So, I think so. All of you know something means somewhat a Marathi. So, I just telling you a trick for that. Uh, it is not. Uh, got, I think so. Uh, you will like it. I don't want to hurt anyone. If uh, anyone hurt, it is uh, like. Uh, I'm saying sorry for that. So write it down a Marathi trick to remember this seven layers. Okay. All of you please note A. A means what? Application. P means what? Presentation. S means what? Session. Then T for transport. Then network, data and physicals. The trick is that a puri sarak tikde naital del phatka. All of you write it down. A puri sarak tikde naital del phatka. All of you note it down. Yes or no? A means what application, Pori means what presentation, Sarak means what session, T means what transfer Sarak transportation, then Nahi means what network layer, D for Dale and P for Fatka. Okay, this is a Marathi trick that I was remember in my uh, second year that I was studying in BTEC. From that time, I just learned this trick. From that, <laughs> I was remember. For that, uh, because a puri sarak tikre, this is uh, this this is the trick for that. If you know other tricks, you can also uh, do that all. Okay, Devansh, please uh, note it down. A puri sarak tikre naital deil phatka. Is it okay? If anyone hurt, then please so sorry for that. It is just trick. I don't want to hurt anyone. Sir, actually, no one understand. I think. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. It is a Marathi trick. If you understand Marathi, then it is okay. Otherwise, you have to just remember. Ratta marna hai bas. Okay. Uh, just grab it. Application, presentation, session, transport, and network. Okay. Uh, listen carefully. Here, uh, here I am showing you application. This is higher layer. This two layers are higher layer. Okay. This we call higher layers. This session presentation application this we call higher layers because it work on your uh, means what if your browser is open like here your browser is open and it having some assign some port number for that only okay for that port number we assign means what it is application actually this application is running it having some port number on your system okay so that's why you can uh, use it port number and application and presentation then it's session then uh, then uh, next that we call transport and network layer are called middle layers they are working uh, process to process okay uh, then uh, network layer work on uh, router layer okay then data link work on switches then physical layer this we call hubs and repeaters are there okay 
this we call hubs and repeater this sign for hubs and repeater this one okay this is lower layer this plus sign is we called uh, lower layer and this data link in that we are using uh, switches and network layer just note it down in which layer which device is working so uh, there will be a mcq type question is that uh, for router and hub work in which layers okay then uh, switches work on which layers router work on which layers okay they will ask on lower layer middle layer or higher layer also and then physical layer means what physical medium means what is it that is a cabling or uh, uh, whatever you require it then hubs and repeaters will discuss in more what is use of hubs and repeaters then what is use of switch and routers but just you just remember that which layer we are using network layer we use router and switch layer uh, sorry data link layer we use switches and for physical layers physical plus data link layer we are using uh, repeaters and hubs okay we'll detail discuss in the next session but just you just remember uh, whatever i am showing here okay just please note it down okay these are some uh, data this is host layer okay this is what uh, from host to then uh, uh, media layer that we call uh, this also called means what from host layer that we also known as data okay this uh, definition you have to also remember what we call data in case of application presentation and session and then uh, data is transferred from transport to transfer in the form of segment okay note it down this and in network layer in the form of packets and in data link layer it is in the form of frames so just uh, note it down and in the form of physical layers physical means what cables we are having in that it will transfer in the form of bits okay zero or one so i just uh, explain once again in physical layers like a uh, media or signaling or binary transmission are there in that we use a bit okay if from one network layer or uh, data link layer to other data link layer in the form of frames means what we are grouping uh, bits and form of frames and then sending so it will having a mac address uh, lcc physical addressing in that okay uh, data link layer we call is frames and then uh, network layer we call a uh, packets note it down this you have to just remember this uh, on which layer which data is transformed which is uh, definition we are using for transferring data for network layer we using packet and for transport uh, transport layer we using segment and above two layers means host layer we are just using a data okay means segment if anyone knows about that what is mean by a uh, segment where we use it where we use it segment is used in transportation layer okay then frames is using data link layer bits are using uh, physical uh, physical layers data is used in session presentation application okay packet in network layer okay we'll detail discuss about what is mean by packet how it's having how head uh, contain the information which type of head we are using uh, what is mean by frames how the frames are uh, uh, means how we are make a frames how they are uh, forms and then how the packets are forms okay how they transfer from one destination to other means destination to source we'll discuss just remember this in physical layer we just call bit and data link layer we call frames and for network layer we call packet and transport layer we call segment for above three layers we call only data okay segment packet frame bit or from below bit frame packet segment you just remember it okay these are some uh, protocol list are there uh, you know about all this detail on which layer which protocol we are using okay so i'm just giving all the uh, list of possible protocols that we are using protocol means what set of rules okay so here in application layer uh, we are using this one telnet ftp okay then dns snmp i think so all all of you visible to you this i'm just underlining with yellow lines or uh, telnet ftp smtp http dns 
SNMP then specific address related uh, protocols is there like here we are using this one look at here uh, this This we call HTTPS. This one, okay. This we call HTTPS. It is also a protocol, okay. hypertext transfer protocol, as for secure. Okay. This is one of the protocol that we are using in application. This is application. Remember, this is an application, and we are using HTTPS protocol to use this browser. Okay. This uh, that's why we are. Um, I am giving here uh, telnet FTP file transfer protocol. Then. Simple mail transfer protocol, then HTTPS, hypertext transfer protocol, DNS, domain name service, then SNMP. These all are the application layer protocols that we are using in application layer. Just uh, note it down this, uh, which type of protocol we are using on which layer. So there will be a question, SMTP use in which layer, a presentation, session, application. So that's the right answer is what? Application layer. Then. Uh, transportation layer we use S, SCTP, TCP, UDP, socket and port addresses are there. Uh, <clears throat> the basic use of this activity to allow first of all application layer is used here, uh, note it down this, uh, this one. It is visible now. Uh, application layer we use to allow access to network resources and for presentation to translate encrypt or compose the data okay this is a very important translate okay if some language is here uh, from one language to another language we have to translate it encrypt it or compose the data for that purpose we are using presentation then for in session layer to establish uh, uh, to establishment of uh, means what the communication or uh, one of the session okay yeah, that we call establishment then manage terminate the session for that purpose we are using session layer okay note it down this why to use session layer session layer is used to create a session uh, so manage session or terminate the session like i am taking a lecture means what i am managing your 1 130 to 230 uh, time so that uh, i just establish a session for you uh, to know about the data uh, networking concept so that we call session then transport layer is used to provide reliable process to process message what is that this is very important transport layer work on process to process okay transport layer is work for process to process communication like uh, here uh, i am having uh, too many types of process like uh, whatsapp is opening on my system then uh, google meets opening on my system drive is also open uh, then uh, this is what healthcare response is there also open so these are the sessions means what i am just telling to you and this uh, means uh, uh, whatever i am telling you is recorded and through that uh, through the particular uh, session is what uh, this as sctp tcp transport control udp okay then socket layer protocol these are used to uh, using transport layer then in network layer move packet from source to destination to provide inter-networking why we use to move packet from source to destination to provide inter-networking for that purpose we are using networking uh, in that uh, we are using ap uh, ip address then arp then icmp then igmp then logical address we use in that session so noted down this protocol also in network layer we using ip ipv4 ipv6 uh, then ap arp then r a r a p then icmp all this protocol will discuss in detail what is the use of that protocol how they communicate or how they use it okay this also in transport layer tcp udp socket layer then in data links we are using ieee 80 802 standards then uh, tb then fdi then fpp physical addressing is there uh, what is use of network to move packet from one destination to source destination to source what is use of data link layer to organize a bit into frame to provide hope to 
hope delivery what is that hope to hope delivery means what hope means what the uh, whatever the switches or uh, whatever the uh, routers they are having in that they call hopes then physical layer uh, in that we are using uh, medium coaxial cables then then number system wireless or wire network layer we are using to transmit bit over a medium to provide mechanical or electrical significance what is the activity we have to do it or, or what we called it uh, the physical layer is used to transfer bit from bit through a medium that we call mechanical also that we call physical also that we call wireless also or fiber also or coaxial cable also whatever the medium we are having in that we have to just transfer the bit okay for that purpose we use a physical layer and uh, in data link layer we use uh, some hope to hope delivery like uh, uh, here i just told you that uh, in, in data link layer we using switches or uh, routers are the, uh, hubs and repeaters are there means what they are hopes in network layer we are using source and destination address okay in that case we are using router so why we use router we'll discuss in detail what is the use of router and why to use router in network layers but why do not use in uh, data link layer so i will uh, give a, i will uh, detail explain you why what is use of router and what is use of switch in next session we'll discuss in detail then uh, then transport layer work on process to process means whatever the application we are working in that case they transfer the data on that then application to application this all are the applications okay this work on application layer only but uh, remember this transport layer work on process to process uh, network layer work on source and destination for means process to process whatever the process we are running from one process to other process of sending a message in that case we are using uh, transport layer uh, from one destination to other destination we are using uh, data uh, sorry network layer and for hope to hope delivery means what middle middle thing is like uh, router hubs repeaters are there for that purpose we using hope to hope service okay i will explain what is mean by hope and then all these things will this all will discuss in next session like uh, what is use of switches routers and this you understand better in that okay just uh, noting down this what is use of this protocols and which protocol we are using on which layers so it is a very important concept that will be asked in examination okay it is visible no can i also zoom it to 100 yeah it is visible i think so it's visible right now just note it down this all this protocols so you will get a uh, answer then i will discuss about one by one i just telling you that uh, why to use physical layer then what is use of that physical layer we we'll discuss physical layer uh, physical layer means what it is a uh, means what media that we are transferring like media which is also called a cable uh, cable we can call it transfer the meat in your data in the form of bits one uh, major function of uh, physical layer is to move the data in the form of electromagnetic signal across the medium uh, then it's also responsible for individual bits from one hope to next hope uh, then both data and signal can be either analog or digital transmission media or is concerned with uh, wire or uh, wireless okay uh, physical characteristics of interface of media means concern of this physical media which interfacing and medium that we are using representation of bits then data rates that we call duration of bit which how how long it travels uh, how much uh, how much time it will last okay so all this we call data rate then synchronization of bit sending and receiving clock must be synchronized if you are sending some data then on that uh, on that time we are receiving so uh, that we call synchronization then line configuration then physical topology then transmission modes like sim uh, simplex half duplex full duplex you know about that uh, can we give an idea that uh, what is mean by half duplex full duplex any one of you 
I think so all of you know about that uh, what is mean by half duplex and full duplex if you know just please write it down in uh, chat box so I just understand it please write it down what is mean by half duplex Devansh please okay half duplex means what transferring data not receiving just only one way communication is there and full duplex means what both receiving and transferring data okay that we call full duplex so all these are concerned with physical layers this data rate how the uh, means what if you are having a cable that optical cable if you have it then the transmission rate on your optical cable is very high so all these are concerned this concerned with only physical layers okay and then we'll discuss about data link layer uh, it deals to host to host del delivery okay host to host, host, host means what uh, it having a switches layers routers okay for that we call host not a, a particular destination so it is very important to know that is what is in the host then data link layer what happens uh, from physical layer it gets some data look at here from physical layer means what in the form of uh, data like beats okay uh, it get a data to network layer uh, network layer add data link layer okay uh, data link layer added some data like h2 h uh, and then transport then uh, then uh, this we call framings uh, uh, means what they add frames on that like uh, then it transferred to network layer. Physical layer transferred data to data link layer. Uh, data link layer add some frames on that. Then uh, it will move to network layer. From network layer, <coughs> it convert into frames, and then it convert into from network layer uh, data link layer. It also convert into the physical layers. So uh, what what is the responsibility for data link layer is to transfer frame from one hope to other hopes or that we call hope means what node to one node to another uh, next node uh, it is deal with framing then next physical addressing mac address that we call each and every system each and every device has mac address so it will be identified by which layer it is identified data link layer then uh, flow control also done uh, how we can uh, flow or how it will be done then error control also done in data link layer then access control is there defining master device that uh, was having access or not so that all concerned with uh, uh, data link layer what is framing physical addressing flow control error control access control is it clear yes or no up to now it is clear okay thank you Devansh, thank you. Priya, thank you. Abuli, thank you. Okay, and then next we'll discuss about network layer. Network layer, just I just told you that network layer uh, is uh, deals the transferring data to source to destination. Okay, uh, in the form of packet. So it receives data from data link layer uh, and convert that data. That data already in frames. It form a packet. Okay. The data from data link layer comes in the form of frames. So network layer just add in form of packet and then transport to the transport layer. From transport layer, it receives the data, it convert into packet and then transfer to the data link layer. So this is the uh, working uh, of the uh, network layer. The network layer is responsible delivering individual packets from source to destination. Uh, this is very important that. Uh, uh, this layers is deal about we call logical addressing ip addressing and uh, routing okay uh, routing algorithms are there so we'll this uh, we'll detail discussing routing table what does mean by routing table how the uh, routings are used okay so uh, 
source and destination okay we will discuss in detail just remember this in network layer we are using logical addressing like ip addressing and uh, routing table is maintained here is it clear The next transport layer, it work to process to process. So which process is require which data, then it transfer to that particular process only. So uh, from network layer, it receive a packet. Okay, then it forms segment, and segment is given to the session layer. Okay, from session layer, it receive data, it convert into segment. And then segment is transferred to the network layer. Okay, this network layer. Okay. Now this is what called top to bottom, and this bottom to up. This we call from top to bottom. Okay, and this is we call bottom to up. Is it clear? Okay. So transport layer is responsible delivering message from one process to another process. So whatever, uh, what is the uh, work of this uh, session layer? Sorry, transport layer to service point address. Whatever, which means what uh, I am having my IP address as this. Whatever I am, uh, whatever IP address I am having. But in particular session, a particular service, I am receiving data like. Uh, uh, Whatever the tabs are open means what for different different tabs uh, I'm having different different port numbers. You are getting for particular port number my transport layer is work. Okay, segmentation then connection then connection control then flow control then error control. As all this happens in that session, we'll discuss in detail what is how the session means transport layer uh, deals with the uh, error control how. It uh, control flow control means uh, uh, date uh, uh, amount of data is from one one uh, one IP address to another IP address. Then huge amount of data are transferring at a time. Then how will uh, how will manage it? That we call flow control. Okay, so we'll uh, detail discuss in next session. Then application layers. The application layer is responsible providing service to user. What is use of this layer? It provides service to user is concerned with virtual terminal like software, like file transfer, file access, file manage, mail service, di director service. So all this detail with only physical uh, presentation layers like network virtual terminals. Then uh, whatever you having, it's file transfer, then access control, okay, uh, then management, mail service. All this happens on this layer only, okay, application layer. For getting this, if you are having any question, any doubt, you can ask to me because it is very important. And each exam.